Well, like that song, song this morning, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. And uh, I'm just thinking, well, one of these days we can stand for him. Uh, we can just say it till we, uh, we're just happy. Well, we'll never get tired of saying it. Amen. I believe when we get there and uh, we're on the throne and we're in a glorified body, uh, time won't mean nothing. Uh, the worldly things won't mean nothing. We won't look back and regret uh, the things that we missed on this earth because it'll all be all be done away with. And uh, we can just say, "Blessed be the name of the Lord." Amen. So this morning, with that, we want to ask you if you would to turn your Bible to the book of Matthew in the 18th chapter. <clears throat> we will go over to the 21st verse of the 18th chapter of Matthew. <clears throat> Peter's uh, was fixing to ask Jesus a question and Jesus uh, told him where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. And so we've got that this morning. Amen. We've got Jesus Christ. Uh, we've got the Holy Spirit in our midst this morning. Now, whether or not uh, you think that might be a little bit uh, different or what, but they're here. Amen. They're in spirit. They're here. And... Uh, we must worship Him in spirit and in truth. And so this morning we have the Lord Jesus Christ in spirit and the hope by the uh, Holy Spirit. Uh, and because Jesus said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. And so we can, uh, we can be assured this morning of these things. So He said, we're two or three are gathered together. And so we can, we can go with that and be, uh, let it be known that Jesus is here or the Spirit of Jesus and the, uh, through the Holy Spirit. And he said, then in verse 21, then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him till seven times? Now we see here that Peter is talking about one of his brethren, one that that is saved because he calls him his brother. And so we want to, if you would, before we get any farther into this, want you to turn to the book of Luke in the 17th chapter. And I'm going to show you something or read something to you here this morning in uh, Luke 17 two, and verse 3. Luke 17, verse 3. He says, Take heed to yourselves. <clears throat> if thy brother, if thy brother, that's one that you come to church with that's the one that you uh ask to pray for you and that's the one that you uh, feel like that uh, will be in heaven with you if thy brother trespass against thee now if he trespass against you and listen this could mean several different things he says rebuke him rebuke him now it don't say go to one of your other brothers and fill their ear full of what you don't like about your brother that that has trespassed against you. But it's it's your it's your job and it's your you that you should go to him and rebuke him. And I don't mean slap him around and beat him and all this, but he's here there's a way that you can rebuke a brother and still sound halfway decent about it because listen, it's for his good as well as it is for your good. And if you can talk to a brother or a sister in the right attitude, in the right tone, in a godly manner, then you'll be a blessing to that brother. Amen. He, and, and you'll be a blessing to yourself because, listen, what's going to happen is, if he's what he should be, and he feels the love in, his, in your heart towards him, he's going to ask you to forgive him of what he said or what he did. So he said here, uh, he said, if thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. Well, <clears throat> that don't mean that you've got a little sack in your pocket, and you're going to put that in that sack, 
and tie it up and say, well, if he ever does that again, I got here to remember. It says forgive you. Amen. When, he, when you do that, listen, this flesh is going to say, yeah, but what if? Yeah, but what is? I know he'll do that again. But listen, what Jesus says to him about this. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turns again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Amen. Now this this is this is Christian love. Now, when you forgive someone, you're supposed to do it with a heart of love and say, well, all right, because the thing of it is you've got to, you've got to take this brother's uh, idea or, or his, his sin and you put it to your charge and say, hey, I've done the same thing. I've done the same thing and I had to go in and, 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 and have a, ask the brother to forgive me. And so listen, it should be a two-way thing and you should forgive the brother or the sister whatever the case might be and listen let it alone amen because here comes satan with his big bag full of tricks and he's saying you know him and you know what he did to you and he's he's just he's just carrying on with you he don't mean what he's saying that's satan's way of, 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 of approaching you when someone when you ask someone that's sinned against you or, or to 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 for, to, the, to uh, repent of this, so he says here, <clears throat> and the uh, and 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 he says, and I uh, let me read this. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. But now, listen, this right here, I want to, I want to show you something here that, G, that the servants, that the servants asked the Lord when he told them this, and I believe it's in our lesson here, uh, encourage us or uh, uh, help our faith. <coughs> now, notice back in our lesson, back in uh, Matthew uh, 18. <coughs> notice in verse uh, 22. Uh, and, and Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven like unto a certain king, which would take account of his servant. Now, I wanted to read, I want to read to you this, uh, I mean, to say this to you. Jesus said here in the, in, in the other chapter that forgive them seven times. All right, then he comes to them here and he asked the, and he tells them the same not only seven times and Peter had heard this but he said 70 times seven now if he does it in a day that's 490 times and, I, and I'm not just but but the thing of it is we have got to understand that our brothers and our sisters are just like we are Amen. they have a body that's fleshly, that's sinful, and we should know from our own experiences with our own self and with the Lord Jesus Christ and with the Holy Spirit, how that the Holy Spirit rebukes us and how that we have to humble ourselves before the Lord Jesus Christ and before God and ask forgiveness for these. We ought to understand the condition of the other brother and the other sister. But now listen, in this in this thing here, there is a there is something that else that happens that we're fixing to read about this morning. But here uh, in this he says he's talking about the kingdom of heaven. And now, and notice here, therefore the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which would take account of his servants. And so this account means to 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 make a settlement and to see if if uh, what's going on and if he if he owes you anything or whatever. But now notice in verse 24, and when he had begun to reckon, and this reckon means to uh, to come uh, to count up and to uh, see what is going on. He said, and when he had begun begun to reckon, one was brought unto him which owed him 10,000 talents. And we say, who are we, even in today's price, if you figure that up, what a talent of gold is or a gossip, it's, it's millions. 
And there's no, I mean, you know, I, I don't know how he could have got that. But anyway, listen, he owed his master that much. Right. And, and in the same sense, we, we think about ourselves. What did we owe Jesus Christ? And what do we still owe Jesus Christ that we'll never be able to pay? Amen. We'll never be able to, to tally up and say, hey, Lord, we're even. We'll never, it's, it's like this, and this is us. Right. We're always on the bottom of the totem pole, and we're always coming up short, and we never, we never get this thing caught up. And so his master here, he says here to him, therefore, uh, in uh, verse 25, but, but for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife and children and all that he had and payment be made. Now, this was this was something that was as bad as uh, a soul that sinneth and is never is and never is uh, uh, saved. What is his What is his punishment to to go to a devil's hell? Right. Okay. This man couldn't. This man couldn't in a lifetime ever pay this back, and he's going to lose his family and everything he had. Now, over in First Kings. Over in uh, Second Kings, I believe it is, uh, uh, Isaiah was was uh, was talking to this woman about, or she came to this to Isaiah and said, "I'm in pro I have a problem," and she said that my husband has died, and you knew you knew him and how he served the Lord, but now they're coming to get all that we have, which is our two sons, and I haven't got anything to pay. And so Elijah, Elijah asked, asked her, said, what do you have in your house that you can pay with? And she says, I haven't got anything. All I've got is one little pot of oil. And of course, we, we've heard the story, but the thing of this, he said, you go and take your sons and you borrow every pot that you can borrow. And you start filling them up out of this pot of oil. And so when she did, she... Come, she come before back to him and she said, every pot that I've had borrowed is full and what can I do? He said, go sell it, pay your debts and leave. This is the same, this is the same, <coughs> the same theory here uh, is with, with a, a lost sinner or with a, a, a one that owes the Lord uh, 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 the, 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 they haven't got salvation, I, I can't say. But anyway, the man comes to God and 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 begs for him, just like the king, he be paid to the king. He said, I ain't got it. I've not got it. And the thing of this, that was us sometime in our life. Amen. We can remember back. And when, listen, we didn't have nothing. We didn't have a pot uh, to, to carry water in or a winter to throw it out of. We was we was destitute because Amen. there wasn't nothing we could get. There wasn't nothing we could do. And he said here, uh, uh, and, and Elijah told her, said you go, you just go sell that, and you'll you'll have plenty. But anyway, here this man here, in, uh, uh, but in verse twenty five, but far as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife and children and all that he had, and and, and the payment was made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And here again we see a, 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 a person that is destitute. He hasn't got anything. And, and we see also in this picture a man uh, 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 going to his brother and saying, you have, you have sinned against me. And uh, I would that you would you would uh, uh, say why you did or or something or another so forth that we could get to settle. And and it's the same way he wanted a settlement here from this guy, and he could he didn't have it. So the servant fell down and, and worshipped the Lord and worshipped his uh, the the king. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him the debt. He Man. said, you're free to go. You don't owe me a penny. Now, you know, 
Would that would that make you happy? Well, did salvation make you happy? Amen. Yes, salvation made you happy. And listen, you you should you should by all means have within your living being somewhere where that God forgave you of those sins that you were guilty of and set you free and put you up on, on out of that old muck and mar and set you on your way and let you go. Amen. And that this morning should be the greatest experience that you ever had. That should be one of the most uh, cheerful or the most feedful to your to your spirit that you can think upon is that time that the, you sp the Lord spoke to your heart. So here you would think this man was happy with what he had done. So he was he was moved about. But now notice, notice in, in verse 28. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants which owed him a hundred pence. Now think about the hundred pence compared to what this man owed the king of uh, 10,000 talents. There's no comparison. There's no comparison. And he said, uh, and he lay hands on him and took him by the throat. Pay me that thou owest me. Now, is that is that a Christian attitude? Is that a, is that something that we need to practice? No, and we we need to think about and, and and I know this is maybe a little bit rough on on the man grabbing him by the throat, but listen, uh, it just explains how how that the human flesh reacts to to things that right. they don't like, and this man was selfish. This man here had didn't get a thing in this world from this king that that uh, 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 wrote off his debt. He didn't get a thing out of it. And so we see here that he he got this guy and and uh, and his his fellow man fell down at his feet and besought him saying, "Have patience with me and I will pay thee all." Now this is the same thing that happened down here when he was before the king and was going to take all of his, his sons and his wife and all this, he asked him the same thing. Be patient with me. And this is something this morning that we need to, we need to, uh, as, a, as Christian people, and, 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 and it'll help you, it'll help you when you lay down of a night and try to rest. Be patient with people. Amen. We need to be patient with people. We need to understand people. We don't understand people. We look, we look at ourselves as being, you know, a hey, good guy. But listen, we're all muck and mar Amen. in the flesh, and and we need to control this flesh, and we need to uh, try to uh, serve the Lord. And this flesh that we have is the spirit, is the housing of the spirit, of the temple of the spirit. And and listen, when this old flesh gets like that right there, like we're talking about, listen, the Holy Spirit cannot, it cannot do anything. This man could not be a witness to this man. He could have come to this man and asked him, said, "Hey, I want to tell you what happened to me, and that he forgave me all of my debts." Amen. Hey, listen, I want to do something for you. That's, that should have been his attitude. But listen, what did he do? He grabbed him by the throat and started choking him and, and demanding of him. And no, notice what he said. And uh, then he says, Have patience with me and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. Now that's, that is what... Uh, that is that is devil that is devil devil that is how the devil thinks that's how the devil wants us to act but can you imagine how much greater it would have been how great of friends they could have been if he just said hey friend i forgive you you, you don't owe me nothing and and but anyway so in verse 31 so when his fellow servants saw what was done they were very sorry and came and told to their Lord all that was done and we have we have these 
the same problem. Listen, when we get out of the will of the Lord, listen, hey, that Holy Spirit comes there and says, you know, you shouldn't have done that. You know that's wrong. You know that's, and we have to, we may have to make repentance for that because, listen, these things are serious regardless of how people think. It's serious. And, and, and you know, uh, Brother Larry, I'm, I'm glad that, I'm glad the Lord touched your body. I'm glad He healed you. Listen, He's done me the same way more than once. And I'm thankful this morning that I know the Lord and the forgiveness of sin. And, and people, I have to, I have to ask the Lord every day to forgive me of my sin because, hey, I'm in this flesh, and I, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot overcome the flesh. But I can do this. I can pray to God and ask the Lord Jesus to help me with this thing. And I, I can, I can lay down of the night and say, well, it's well with my soul. Amen. Him to forgive me and he forgives me but here this this is the same thing then in verse 32 then his lord after that he had called him said unto him O thou wicked servant i forgave thee all that debt because thou desired me and and that's the same thing with us this morning when we when we ask the lord we ask the lord to forgive us of our sins he did it because that he loved us, because he we we come to him in a humble way and desire to serve him. We want to be we want him to be our master, and we want to serve him and to forgive us of our sins. And that's what that's what happened. He said yes, because listen, that that repentance is what what turns God's heart. And then here here he said here. Should not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity, <laughs> pity on thee? And his Lord was wroth and delivered him to the tormentors till he should pay all that was due unto him. And listen, he's, if he was living, he'd be still paying. Mm -hmm. And listen, there's there's no way that he can pay it because it said here that he delivered them to the tormentors, and the tormentors they were just ones that was going to uh, aggravate him and all this. He couldn't he couldn't make anything to, to pay him back. So he's wherever he's wherever the king sent him. And this morning, it's the same way with us. This morning, people, we need to we need to get closer to the Lord than what we are. We need to have patience with one another we need to understand as i said what we are and what all flesh is it's it's just it's just it's just the, the it's, it's it's corruption and so it's it wants to sin it loves to sin and does it and here here in verse 35 so likewise shall my heavenly father do also unto you if you from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. Amen. Now, people, you know we can say uh, uh, talk about the the, uh, the king here and the, and the man that grabbed him. But listen, this last verse it brings it right down to what I think that this was wrote for, and that is so. Likewise, shall my heavenly Father do also unto you. If you're, if you from your heart forgive not everyone his brother their trespass, and the trespass is not that if he if he if he does something to you and and and, and tries to hurt you, you run back to him and say, hey, uh, I'm going to forgive you. That's not the way it goes. That's not the way it happens. But listen, there there has got to be an action between two, and there's got to be one that is that is approaching the other one and the other one is 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 hearing and understanding and both of them have to meet on a uh, a, 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 a loving manner amen because harshness harshness you tell somebody how ungodly and how ugly that was won't get it because listen that makes it just a little bit worse on both sides but if someone does these things to you you, if you you know you need it, it's it, it's your duty. You need to go to them and say, hey, you know I don't believe you treated me right on that. And uh, and and with that attitude, 
it'll change things because uh, that's that's what that's what we need this morning is more love in our heart, Amen. more understanding uh, towards one another, and uh, we'll find out that uh, we can live together a whole lot better because this world this world is such a turmoil uh, outside those doors. It's just hell among the Germans. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just dog eat dog. Right. We can see it in everything that we, we see this morning. So this morning, uh, this is our, our lesson, what we wanted to try to get across to you. And, and I hope that uh, that uh, in days to come or whenever, that the, that the, that the, the lesson here will, will help you even when you have a, a discussion with uh, someone that you think is wrong you. And listen, you go at it in the right way, pray about it, and I think you'll find it. Uh, if he's a, I know he will. If he's a brother, he'll forgive or he'll say, I'm wrong. And uh, you can you can live together and, and uh, enjoy one another. So thank you all so much for uh, listening to me. I ask you to continue praying for the Sunday school lesson, for the song service, and for uh, the preaching hour, and for the afternoon service. And just, keep, just keep praying because... Uh, uh, the Lord wants the Lord wants to help. Uh, he will help if we'll submit to it. And uh, sometimes I I, uh, I find it hard to to understand what what the Lord wants us to hear. But you know, when it's all said and done, I said, Lord, it's in Your hands. Amen. All I do is just stand up here and and flap my lips sometimes. And but you you can take this word, Lord Jesus. And you can use it, just like an arrow going to its, its target. And you know where it needs to go. And some of you may not get a thing in this world out of this, but I believe everybody will get a little something out of it. But uh, that's 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 what it is. That's what it's all about. Brother Larry can preach for four hours, but listen, if the Lord don't use that word, hey. It, it will, it, it just, it, it's got to be used that way. Amen. The Lord's going to use it. So thank you all for listening to me and pray for me. Amen.